Okay, Sagittarius, we have the tower there. All right, Sag. So, uh, hi guys, uh, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of July 20th through the 26th. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you are a cross watcher, you also might be able to resonate with some of these messages. So Sag, we did just have the tower flip out. So the tower can represent several different things. It's not automatically negative, so don't think that. Something could be happening this week, guys. Something might be a surprise. Let's see. Sagittarius. Okay. Here is strength. So a Scorpio might be significant for some of you. A Leo might be significant for some of you. Okay. And if you do have something going on with a Leo, I definitely suggest watching their reading uh, for their weekly spread, every single card that I pulled for them, I didn't actually pull, every single card flipped out for them. Yeah, um, just like you're reading so far. Um, you have cards wanting to come out just as well, Sag. So we're starting with the tower. We do have strength. We have the eight of pentacles. I have the two of cups, the hanged man, the knight of pentacles, the high priestess, the eight of swords, and the overall energy being the magician. Here at the bottom of the deck, Sag, I do have the four of wands. Okay. So let's see here. We do see you manifesting, Sag. Some of you, this is what you're manifesting. Um, maybe that solid foundation for yourself. Let's see. Which, when you are manifesting, it is it is always a process. So some of you are going through this process. It might not be happening as quickly as you would like, Sag. Okay. All right. So interesting. Um, we have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. The Empress the devil so very interesting uh some of you sag as you might be involved with a capricorn a capricorn could be significant a taurus a libra uh i am reading for some sages we are yes some of you are in the process of manifesting this could be a strong foundation. Um, this could be related to work for others. This could be something on the relationship front. And I see you very motivated. I think it is a process for you, though. Others that I'm reading for, others that I'm reading for, um, a relationship definitely could be coming to an end. This could be a long term relationship could be a relationship with a family member. If this is not on the love front, if this is not romantic, if this is not a marriage that's ending, uh, could be due to someone cheating or a third party interference, some sort of temptation coming in. And so if it's not a marriage that's ending or a long-term relationship that's ending, uh, this could be a, something going on with a family member. This could be something going on with a mother, could even be a grandmother. And so 
for those of you where you have a family member who possibly is having surgery, uh, some of you that I'm reading for, yeah, uh, you or someone close to you could be having surgery. I see some of you spending some money, so this might not be, um, this might not be uh, something that has to be done. This could be plastic surgery. Uh, and so I see a lot of fear around this. So, it, you know, if you or a family member is having surgery, try to stay positive. Also, don't try to push anything. Don't try to rush anything. You know, if, if um, a professional, a doctor, if someone tells you to be patient with something, someone tells you uh, to maybe even reschedule, to put something off, listen to them. Don't, you know, don't be in a rush. Uh, I see some of you sad just trying to push a little bit, you know, wanting things perhaps your way, wanting things to happen a little bit quicker. There's an element of wanting to be in control here. But um, if this is someone doing this to you or if you're doing this to somebody else, Sag, I do see the possibility of someone losing their cool, someone getting a little pissed off. So someone who's normally very quiet and maybe very laid back uh, could be snapping here. So you want to be careful with this energy. Now, uh, for some of you, that's you. So with your loved ones, those closest to you, even those that you work around, those people that are around you all the time, whoever they are, I do see some of you Sages actually trying to calm yourself down, trying not to lose your cool. I do see that for some of you. I am actually getting that very strongly. So I, some of you Sages. You know, maybe you feel as though uh, someone is manipulating you, someone is lying, someone is trying to manipulate you, which, you know, it's not, it's not the easiest to manipulate a Sagittarian, uh, let's just be real. So, you guys are highly intuitive. Um, I think that some of you know something. Uh, you might even feel betrayed. Some of you possibly feel betrayed, lied to, but there is this inner knowing. We have the high priestess here. We have the high priestess with the hanged man and the spread along with the tower. So this could be like some sort of, um, it could be a secret coming to light, but there might be that breakthrough. There might be that aha. There could be that realization. Now this could come in this could happen when you least expect it something you weren't seeing so if there is a secret that's coming to light or if you are spending some time alone Sag something that you weren't seeing you could be realizing something maybe you knew all along but maybe maybe you didn't want to believe it or you know maybe you simply just weren't listening prior but now this week the universe has your attention. So, yes, some of you are gaining some sort of enlightenment. Uh, you could be seeing someone's true colors. Also, something could be revealed. And so it could be uh, possibly with a Gemini, a Virgo, a Leo, a Scorpio, a Pisces. I have strong Piscean energy here. Pisces, Leo, and Virgo. Um, we did see the devil at the bottom of the deck along with the Empress. So it could be a Capricorn, could be a Taurus as well that's significant. Also, those of you that are maybe realizing something, um, you could be having that aha moment. Realizing something, I do see some of you 
possibly taking baby steps and moving in a new direction or beginning to put your energy into something new. With the magician as the overall energy, this is very positive for many of you. This is you having everything you need uh, to create. It is a process, but I think that you're learning something, Sag. It's, an, it's a very important week, even if, you know, at, at some point, you know, you're learning something. Yes, you could be upset by it, but we have strength here. So you will, uh, for some of you, you are going to handle those emotions. You're going to work through this energy, I think. And then I see you actually devoting your energy into creating something new. I see you putting time and energy into building, into creating something new. And yes, you're you're going to be patient with this process. But you're aware now. There's something major that's happening for you. It's like a breakthrough. And also, if somebody if somebody didn't have your back, if if um if you do have like an enemy or a frenemy, whatever you want to call them, for some of you, you're, you're maybe seeing someone's true colors here this week. Now, obviously, that's not for all of you, but I do want to mention it. Someone is possibly toxic. This could be like a fake friend, um, someone you work with for some of you. You're finding something out. There could be like a traitor around you. And you're maybe realizing something or just realizing that here this week, I think you're going to deal with the situation. You know how to deal with the situation. I also see those Sagittarians that possibly maybe you lost a job you could have lost a job because of what was going on in the world recently I see some of you kind of waiting being extremely patient maybe waiting to go back to work or, or landing a new job that's coming in Knight of Pentacles the magician the eight of Pentacles some of you are going back to work others you're landing a new job and there could be a friend that's actually helping you do this uh, and so, yeah, this could be a friend, Sag, that is um, maybe helping you land this new job. This could be your spouse for those of you that are married, that are, that are with someone. Uh, yes, they could be helping you land a new job. I think that some of you, your foundation felt you know, rocked. Your your foundation did not feel so secure. Uh, you know, something happened that kind of rocked your foundation. Um, and so you might have been out of work or maybe your business closed. But you have this very fertile, very creative energy. It's just needing to get away from that fear, Sag. Needing to get away from, from that fear don't limit yourself. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. I also have the eight of swords here in the spread. So needing to overcome that energy, but I think you can. I think you absolutely can believe in yourself, have confidence, and listen to your intuition. We have that new moon, that second uh, new moon in Cancer on July 20th. So the energy is there. So this is very good. This reading is very, very good as far as you going back to work and as far as you landing a new job. Those of you that, you know, are finding out that you had a fake friend, there's something coming to light that you were not seeing, but this week you are being made aware. All right. Here we go, Sag. So we do have hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. So, I mean, this just resonates so much, Sag. So have faith. Have hope. Stay positive. Stay out of your head. Even if you're taking baby steps with the Knight of Pentacles energy, take baby steps. 
but stay positive. The worst is behind you. All right, Sag, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. I also would like to mention that over on Vimeo, I do have the July 2020 Love Tarot Scopes. If that's something that you're interested in, that link is below. All right, guys, stay safe and have a blessed week. Take care.